little comrade. So, you've just become a dictator. You probably want to start conquering stuff right about now. Well, not so fast. First, you need to learn a little bit about something we like to call propaganda. For that, we need to go back in time to 1622, when Abraham Lincoln invented the toaster pastry. No, you idiot. 1622 is when Pope Gregory XV created propaganda. God, I can't believe you're that stupid. I can. I'll kill you both! <clears throat> Anywho, yeah, this Pope guy was awfully pissed off at some Protestants, and to win his people back, he had to do something. So he made up some nasty rumors about the Pillsbury Doughboy. Sir, don't you mean Martin Luther? No, I mean get me some toaster pastries! I'm hungry and I must enjoy Abraham Lincoln's fine creation! And thus, propaganda was born. Many tyrants, such as myself, use this nifty tool to promote their ideas, and more importantly, brainwash stupid villagers to do exactly what you want. Propaganda usually consists of a picture, preferably of you, and a message of some kind. Let's make one together, shall we? Let's see, first we need a picture. How about this one I took for my wife's birthday? After I cleaned the vomit off this picture, I decided it would be good for our little lesson. Now all we need is a caption. Hmm, let's think here. How about toothpaste? It's what's for breakfast! Perfect! That is the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. And I've seen an elephant at the zoo take a crap! Way to be a buzzkill, Dr. Slow! As I was saying, now that we've created a piece of propaganda of our own, let's see some examples of other propaganda. This one is of Vladimir Lenin of the USSR. He obviously wants someone to pull his finger. This looks like a guy who'll fart whether or not you pull his finger. Here's Hitler in a car. I once rode in a car with Hitler. I told him to get off at exit 8 and he kept saying 9. Wonder why that was. Ah, here is the leader I modeled all of my policies after. And my paperclip collection! This here is the new American president, Baractimus Prime's propaganda. I once had a dream that I changed into a truck. Then some fat truck driver got inside me. Oh, it was horrible. Rat, why did you put this in here? That's what she said! Get out! God! Anywho, as you can see, propaganda has been used throughout history to brainwash the masses. A prominent graphic design movement indeed. And it's still a vital tool in any dictator's arsenal. With that said, I hope you were educated and learned a little something along the way. Well, if that's that, I'm off to Taco Bell. I heard they're serving tacos now. Later, comrades! All rise ye men of Paradise, sing these words or you'll be shot. Now you may think this is unfair, but we're dictators so we don't care. Now Seamus is wasted all the time, and Rats can't keep his hands on and he fertilized your foot long. And Grunt is a stupid ass. When he first took preschool, he didn't pass. Hey, Miss! That's who we are! Hey, Miss! We'll get your car! Hey, Miss! That's us! Now go get hit by a speeding bus! 